There are three different types of objects in NetLogo that you can see and you can program to do things. The first type is turtles, which you probably heard of. Let's create one. That's that little triangle looking thing in the middle of the screen right there. Now you will see NetLogo commands appear at the bottom of the screen here whenever something happens on the screen. You yourself, for instance, if you were to type the letters CRO at space 1 next to the word observer and press the enter key down here, you could also create a turtle in NetLogo. Let's change the turtle's size. We can also change its color. And if you think that wild turtles don't look like triangles, we can change its shape. We can also make it move. We can even write a little computer program to get it to move a sequence of moves. And we can put its pen down so that as it moves, it draws. But we're not limited to just one turtle. We can make three at a time. Or fifty. There are the fifty. All right, enough about turtles. Let's take a look at patches. A patch is a little square that makes up part of the floor that turtles walk on. There's a blue one in the middle, right there. Normally patches are black, but we can ask all the patches to color themselves blue. Or color individual ones a different color, like that yellow one. Since patches have no visible borders, we can ask turtles to draw the borders in white so that we can see where all the patches are. The turtles draw so fast you, do, you don't actually see them in motion, and there is a border of all the patches. Patches cannot move. It's as if they're glued to the floor, and so the most common visual thing you'll probably do with them is change their color, perhaps even randomly. The last type of agent that you can work with is a link, which is a line between two turtles. And there it is in yellow. You can change the look of a link, and when you move turtles, any links between them automatically follow. The version of that net logo that you will see at home will have a lot of patches and a larger window with room for more visible turtles like this. but it is difficult to read anything written on it in the small window that YouTube and other services broadcast. For instance, it's hard to read what's written on that button. So I will try to show you everything on a tiny version of NetLogo screen so that you can read the commands and the buttons.